Welcome once again to the Guy Blog Podcast. As always, your host, Orlando here. And I was considering what to talk about. If to talk MMA, if to talk wrestling, movies, you know, Spider-Man's coming out, TV shows, been watching Glow. Um, really, I've been going over and over in my head, what should I talk about on this episode? But then I thought... Let's keep it like really current. Let's um do a little change of pace from WWE, but keep it wrestling because I love wrestling and talk about TNA and the fact that TNA is no more, which is crazy. Now, I know what some of you guys might think. You know, TN Slammiversary just happened. TNA is still going on. TNA hasn't changed. But it has, because it will no longer be referred to as TNA. Now TNA is GFW, Global Force Wrestling. And uh, for those of you that don't know what Global Force Wrestling is, nobody can blame you. You can be the biggest fan in the world. If you don't know what GFW is, it's, it's not a name that they came out with, um, that they came up with out of thin air. It's the name of the promotion, and I would put that strongly between quotes, um, of one Jeff Jarrett. So a few years ago, Jeff Jarrett said he was starting Global Force Wrestling, and its goal was to be just that, to be global. He signed wrestlers, he did some tapings, but he never got a deal, he never toured, he never did anything with it. And then it was just straggling along. For a few years, and every once in a while, you hear that GFW is doing something with somebody, but nothing ever came of it because Jeff Jarrett, <laughs> or just because, I mean, they were doing nothing. When all of a sudden, TNA is going through its latest round of financial issues, and in comes Anthem. To save them. Now, when Anthem came in, you would think that they, you know, have their vision, they have their direction, they know what they want to do with the company, they've been dealing with them for a while. So you think they know what they want to do. And to be quite honest, it seems that they don't. Because what Anthem did was first let go the all of the superstars that they could build around. Only one they've kept, really, Bobby Lashley and EC, um, EC3. But the Hardys are gone. Kingdom is gone. It's just weird that they have let go everybody that could have been somebody for them to build around. People that are proven. People that have, you know, obviously great skills and are threats, you know, as far as wrestling, on the mic, and that could represent the brand on a global scale, um, anywhere and everywhere, they could be the face. They've let all these people go. Um, with the Hardys, name recognition and an original gimmick that was, you know, that first was done in TNA, which would have been a good sign if they kept them, because it would have shown, you know, TNA, the home of creativity where, you know, superstars can do more. Um, with less, but no, they let him go. So, what ends up happening? They they are looking at what to do. They have let all all these contracts not lapse, but you know, waiting till the last minute to to make an offer. Wrestlers get insulted. They decide to leave, especially the bigger names. So they bring in Jeff Jarrett, who used to own TNA. And they bring him in with his crew, his team, and basically seem to step by step been handing over the reins to Jeff Jarrett so he can run it as he sees fit. Now, mind you, there's almost nowhere for TNA to go but up. But Jeff Jarrett, first things, one of the first things he does is introduce his GFW brand to the TNA world. That's a win for Jeff Jarrett. Not so much for TNA, but fine. Then he brings in some of his own wrestlers. 
Okay. Brings in Congo Khan. The guy is big. He moves fast for his size. He definitely has something to him. But he reminds me of a more agile, more mobile, more exciting version of Mabel. From the, the, If you remember who Mabel is, you're a true fan. Um, but besides that, the guy doesn't have a look that says face of the company. You know? And some of you guys might be thinking, oh, well, Bobby Lashley and EC3. Yeah, but I would have gone with somebody that's doing something more... You know, the Hardys would have been perfect. Or somebody that they could build from zero up. But having the same guys that were the main eventers before be the main event now, except now you have Congo Kong. Uh, not a fan, not happy, sorry. On top of that, um, Jeff Jarrett has been introducing his own titles, the GFW titles, to spice things up, I guess. Then after that, you know, you, you could see his his how do you call it his influence growing um big papa pump comes back to make things interesting i guess you know you have announcers arguing i i don't even want to know about an announcer feud um they're not at that level and announcers aren't wrestlers they should never be wrestling um did we not learn from michael cole guess not so Plus, it's never going to be a huge ratings hit that your announcers are, are wrestling. It's just not going to happen. So that was stupid. But on top of that, continuing with that, what has Jeff Jarrett pulled off? He's managed basically to get Anthem to bankroll GFW. Because the latest news is that TNA is really no more. It will no longer be referred to as TNA. Um, it's Impact Show will still be called impact but it will be gfw impact so the brand is now global force wrestling i'll give jeff jared this it's a good name could be a great name um, for a wrestling company it's a good change from tna and all of its double and triple and whatever entendres and it's it's a change and it's good to see that at least um dixie doesn't have the power to say, oh no, TNA is staying, I don't care if you have the best idea in the world. It's good to see that there are new people in charge, and it's good to see that there is uh, an opportunity for positive change. The fact that this positive change is coming because you basically just just bought a, bought a wrestling company and gave it to Jeff Jarrett so he can put his name and branding on top of it. I don't know. It's a change. Um, it's something different. Jeff Jarrett hasn't been um, the most successful promoter in the world. But, you know, hey, different minds for different situations. And maybe at this stage, Jeff Jarrett can really do something um, now that he has money behind Global Force Wrestling. I don't know how, how you guys feel. I don't know if you used to watch TNA. Um, but, hey, let's see what happens. I, I just, I'm freaking surprised tna has survived this long um to the point where finally it's getting rebranded which there could be a positive there with them wanting money for well i mean they put all this money out wwe can now go in and buy their video library i don't know if anybody's thought of this but i mean there were rumors before but if WWE was hesitant to do it before, and you could think that buying their library while their shows are still going on um, would lead to basically promoting TNA, the fact that the TNA name is no longer there means that, and there are other services, but means that WWE can buy their library, keep it for six months to a year, or, you know, right away put it up on the network. And it won't affect it because GFW is its own thing. And what do they get with the library? They get basically some of their, they get video, a catalog of video on matches and highlights from some of the names that they have up and coming, especially two of them, AJ Styles and Samoa Joe. So that would be freaking awesome.
Um, let me know what you guys think about this, but I think this is, in the end, at least good news for a WWE fan if they do manage to buy their tape library. Um, the GFW thing, I don't know if it'll work, but I'm going to keep an eye out on it. And honestly, it's been the most interesting thing to happen with TNA um, because I just don't follow TNA. I can't. I'm sorry. Every time I try to, they have decent matches, but the quality of programming, and I don't mean just from a indie looking or small venue thing. I mean from storylines and everything else have not really captured me. So having a brand change might ha give me a mindset change of, of giving them a real chance. I don't know. What do you guys think? Are you going to give this new iteration of uh iteration of of tna a chance is gfw something you're interested in watching leave a comment email me orlando at the tweet instagram at the guy blog and as always talk to you soon take care guys <laughs>